T. Higgins, 75 receptions, 110 targets, 1,042 in the yardage, seven touchdowns, 7.3 targets per game. Thoughts on T. Higgins? He's a great number two option, right? He's a great number two option. So um, he is a guy that if you go running back in the first round, right, if you go running back in the first round, you ideally want to pair that up with something like a Jalen Waddle on T. Higgins, right? Like something like that combination if you can. So um, – I expect, again, I expect these numbers to continue to improve slightly. I, I am expecting a full slate of games out of T. Higgins. Um, I think that the touchdowns are, I think the touchdowns are probably about right. You know, somewhere in that seven or eight touchdown range. Um, he's a dynamic player. He's a great compliment to, to Jamar Chase. Um, and he's a guy that I don't have a problem rostering, right? Whether it's my second wide receiver or if you're going – really wide receiver heavy and you kind of get the right fall or lay of the land. Uh, if you can get him as your third wide receiver, cause that's how you're just starting your draft and you're hammering that out. Like that is dynamic in wide receiver heavy leagues. So um, he's a good route runner. He's got good hands. He's been able to improve kind of his release and get a little bit better separation than what he was originally kind of anticipated for coming out of, out of Clemson. Um, and, and, he, he, the kid's a baller, right? He, he's just a baller. And we would be talking about him as a top 12 guy if he wasn't playing alongside of a top five guy. Like, it's just one of those things. Now, this offense can support two top 12 wide receivers. Receiver option for you, I think, um, you know, if, if you're you're building your roster and you uh, – you get say somebody up there in that you know top eight or nine, and then you can hope that that T Higgins comes back around to you uh, in that third fourth round area, right? Um, that's that's not bad. I, I think he's a he's a solid wide receiver too, and I mean a like solid wide receiver too. Probably one of the best wide receiver twos you can you can get out there. T Higgins will do well for fantasy, right? Uh, wide receiver thirteen though, where you have to kind of draft him. That seems like you're kind of drafting him at his ceiling for me. Um, yeah, there's right. You you could see him sneak up there into wide receiver one territory, but I, there's guys going after him at the wide receiver position that I would rather take my shot on. Uh, Chris Olave going to pick right after him. I'd rather take my shot there. I'd rather take my shot on, um, yeah, Najee going uh, going behind him as well. Uh, potentially even would rather have the Keenan Allen, Amari Cooper, Calvin Ridley. Uh, routes on my roster more so than than T Higgins there. He's a fun guy to watch. He's a he's a fun guy to to yeah perform and a fun guy to have on your roster. Just this feels like I'm going to draft him at his ceiling, and there's other options that I think I can get probably some better value uh, for that pick um, on that one, and that would be the route that I would roll.